Hi friends, welcome to this session. In this session, we are going to discuss about a couple of basic MySQL commands. Usually, the database things they are handled by database administrators. But as a system admin, we should be aware uh, about some basic commands which can help a system admin to understand the uh, database components easily. So, we are going to discuss about those commands. To begin with the uh, following this following things we will be discussing. First, how we can log into MySQL database servers. Then we will check what is the status, what is the database version and uh, what are the character set or uh, database configuration. Then we will check how many databases are configured on server. We will create our own uh, lab database. Then we will check uh, all the database users. We will create our lab user and uh, we will uh, give privilege to that user to write to test database we just created. Later we will uh, create a table, we will define that table and we will insert data into that table. Then we will uh, uh, perform some uh, activities to delete a database, then delete table and uh, delete a user. At the end we will run couple of commands to check how many connections are active to database or not. So, uh, these commands are usually very handy, these are easy commands. So, let us begin on uh, technical set. Okay friends, I am already logged into my server on which uh, we have installed MySQL community server in uh, I believe you already followed my last video. So, now uh, uh, let us start. First thing we have to log into database. To log in, we will use MySQL command, MySQL minus u is user, we are logging in as root user, that is a powerful user, minus p is for password, enter. So, here I will enter password, so it is saying access denied, what I am doing wrong, let us retry password again, okay. So, earlier I tried uh, incorrect password, so we are in database server. First thing which we have to check the status of this database server. So, status command. If you see with status command, uh, I got uh, connection ID and uh, then current user, I am logged in as root. So, it is displaying root. This is the database version. Many times uh, you as a system admin can be asked what is the database version on uh, your server. So, you can simply tell by logging into database, otherwise you can use RPM command uh, to list out database version, but that is uh, that is also easy way. This is the protocol version which we are using on database server. These are the character sets, these are very important uh, to define your database. So, no need to worry about these one because this is a lab setup only, but for enterprise or production database, these need to be taken care. So, DBA usually keep track of the, these things. This is the socket file and uh, this is the uptime. This database is of from last 1 hour, 9 minutes and 9 seconds and these are the threads, 1 thread, 55 questions, queries, how much average time it took for uh, uh, perform a query. Okay friends, so that is a basic. Let us check what are the tables on this database server. So, here to check, uh, sorry, repeating myself, uh, that is not table, that is databases. So, to check how many databases are currently on this server, uh, we have to run command show databases. All commands should end with semicolon, uh, that is MySQL syntax, otherwise that command is not complete. So, if you see right now, there are four databases on this server. Uh, do not worry about this database, I have just created for testing. So, let us create our own database, one new database, create database. So, simply just use create switch, create database, then your database name. I will name it as mylabdb, okay. Command should end with semicolon as I said, enter. So, this database is created. If you see it is saying one row affected, it means database is created. Let us check whether it actually got created or not. 
I will use same command show databases. If you see now my lab DB is there. So it means our database got created. Next step uh, we can uh, create new users. So basically all the users information that is saved in this predefined database. I haven't created this database but this is default database. All the information like how many users on this server or uh, configuration or their privilege everything is stored in MySQL database so that's a default database so let's list out all users which are on uh, this particular MySQL server to do so I will do select so that's a column in that particular database select user from then database name database name is MySQL here this one in this particular database table name is user semicolon enter if you see right now there are two users root is repeated three times because that is part of uh, different three databases and uh, dummy user that I just created for testing ignore it that's not a default user okay let's create a new user we will call it lab user <coughs> sorry do so create user like similar syntax uh, for database like when we create a database we used create database here we will use create user lab user is the username at localhost that is uh, we are creating on this localhost identified by identified by mean uh, password so for this user password would be user123 and uh, let's press enter so this user is created now we have to give uh, privileges to this user like what whether this user can read or write or manipulate information uh, on a table or database so we have to manage that to do so i'm granting access so grant all mean it can do all the operation on that particular database on that's my database name my lab db dot star what it mean in my lab db the database which we just created dot star mean old table in that database to lab user to which user we are uh, giving privilege identify by this is the password of that user enter okay so privileges are set to make the changes active we have to flush the privileges so flush privileges enter okay now let's list out users now with same command which we used earlier if you see now there is there is user lab user here okay so now our user is created it got privileges so next thing we just created uh, one database uh, my lab db let's start uh, begin using that database to use a database uh, first you need to uh, like uh, go into that uh, database so we will use command use my lab db so if you see output database change it mean uh, we are using my lab db now here we will do one thing in our test database we will create a table to create a table we have to define uh, all the columns in that uh, table just take example of your excel sheet you got columns and rows so columns define what uh, what is the definition of that particular table so similar way here I am creating a table create table and table name would be employee and there would be three columns one first will be employee type of that particular column is character maximum is 20 characters next column will be department again that is character type and uh, 20 is the max character length then third column is title title is again character type max length 20 so i'm just creating table okay table is created so let's check uh, whether this table got uh, created properly or not so we can use describe command describe d e s c r i b e yeah describe table name enter if you see this this is the table we just created it got three fields employee department title and uh, these are the types so it mean our table is created 
or uh, you can also run show table command show tables enter if you see uh, on this database tables in my lab db this is database and this is the table employee which i just shown you here so now let's begin inserting data into that table to enter data we need to add data in uh, three fields so here insert into this is the table name employee here i am adding data in three fields in employee name department and title uh, just a minute i have to make it lower case to match with the my fields if you do in this way it will give you error employee name emp name yeah so looks good now so now these are the fields in which fields data to be added these are the values so employee name will be yogesh department would be it then title would be engineer enter so mates uh, in this way we added uh, data into table so now if you want to run query select let's say you want to check only name or uh, select amp name i want to okay let's select everything select star from your database dot your table name so table name here is employee semicolon enter if you see this is a data this table got which we just entered so that's a way like you can add uh, data in your tables so uh, that's it and uh, now other thing uh, which we can discuss how we can delete the user or uh, database which is decommissioned or uh, let's say some table to do so let's say first discuss we have to delete a table to do so i have to go to that particular database from which i have to drop the table so i am in a test db now let's list out table uh, how many tables are there to do so use uh, we have to run command show tables show tables if you see there is one table dummy table uh, i just created it for testing purposes if you want to delete that table run command drop table then table name dummy table okay looks good so this table is dropped to verify let's list out the tables again if you see there is no table now so uh, the table is dropped let's drop the database itself uh, this dummy db so same command uh, with the drop database dummy db enter okay so it is giving error because uh, database name is not dummy db database name is test db right test db enter if you see this database is drop now let's list out all databases show databases if you see this particular database test db is not here now it mean it's deleted and uh, let's delete the user user also which uh, we created for testing i created for testing that's a dummy user then drop user dummy user enter so this user is also deleted so friend that's a way to uh, remove table database and user again one thing uh, which as a system admin when you working on some change or some uh, outage uh, if someone ask you can you check whether there is any active connection to this database or uh, you have to shut down a server before shutting down you want to ensure there is no active connection to check that you can uh, run command that's a mysql database command you can run show process list that's a one word process list process list enter if you see only this is, these are the processes running so we can assure like nobody is connected from outside if someone connected uh, it will give you a lot of information uh, like these many users connected then you can easily identify whether uh, users are able to connect to database or how many users connected so 
friends uh, so these are the things we, which we discussed in next session uh, i am going to discuss uh, on uh, how we can take database backup and uh, in case of disaster or when we want to recover the database how we can restore that backup and uh, thanks for watching this session i am sure you will you have enjoyed this session if you really enjoyed uh, just click like button and subscribe to my channel thanks a lot thanks for watching bye